Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online. And in today's video, well, we are going to do the next site, which is called the Shining Flame Base. Uh, never done this one before, so we are, of course, in our passive rattlesnake. And I'm guessing, let's actually try this now. Uh, to take that other gate, let's see, they can be targeted right away. So we are going to do that. And we have uh, two cruisers and two, three frigates to start with. I think I'll try my tactic again. Um, cruisers will be attacked by my missiles. That's a pretty good hit, I must say. And while we approach that gate very slowly, uh, the crusader is coming. Yep, there we go, there we go. Excellent. I am going to... Hmm, what the hell are these? Quick show info. Uh, damage... EM and thermal so that's the same that should definitely be all right and then we have shining flame augurer launching the missiles we'll take some EM drones we'll start attacking and adding in a little bit of e-war while we are scrammed as well interesting and uh, I'm gonna assume that I can't take this gate just like in the other side so I am doing a little bit of wasteful traveling at the moment, but it will be okay. And man, these frigates are lasting quite a long time. Get us. Ooh, and they're going after my drones as well. All right, let's do a quick raid. Already in armor? You bastards. All right, let's add some missiles then. Let's go and see if we can grab this gate. At least my missiles do a decent chunk of damage. And the gate is lock, locked, so the Shining Flame Base Shortcut Keep Pass must be retrieved and stored in your cargo hold. Uh, the question that remains is who or what is the gatekeeper? Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's head towards the other gate and let's do a one, two, three on this one and see if my ogres can do a little bit more damage. Maybe we'll try and put them on this one. So those, that one went down pretty quickly. Let's add the E-War. And finally, I see some good damage from my drones. And then we see some misses. So it's it's not easy. These guys are definitely quite evasive. Let's uh, add in a couple of missiles. And now we will have to slow boat towards the gate. So first room seems to be the exact same thing. Uh, a number of frigates and a number of cruisers. Potentially battle cruisers as well. And then you unlock that gate over here. And other than that, are, are these guys coming back? Return to drone bay, please. Um, other than that, you don't seem to get a second spawn. So I'm expecting to have the same pattern in the second room, which will actually take a little bit of time while a Gila is coming. That's pretty brave. I kind of want, want to see if he comes in in the second room, how that's going to work. Maybe he can take the shortcut if he has that, that key already. And uh, I'm pretty slow. We'll see what Seth decides to do. Um, I don't mind the company. I'm basically exploring this site for the first time. So I don't really know what to expect. For now, the Gila does not seem to be moving. And that's still the shortcut. We're still 8 kilometers out from this one. Come on. Get to that edge so that I can take the gate. And then on the, in the final room, of course, we'll normally have a battleship again, where I should have the advantage over a Gila, but my speed is pretty bad. Look at that slowpoke heading for... <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is the disadvantage. Uh, all right, let's see what Seth has to say. Hi. Not here to contest, just wondering if you mind sharing your fit. Uh, okay. Um, all right. There you go. And then I'll activate the gates. No problem. And then I'll, uh, I'll close this. We don't want to get into trouble. Uh, but that's definitely something that you can do, right? If you see someone run it in a, in a bigger ship or something that you're not too familiar with, you can definitely uh, ask them what it is that they're using. Second room, finally. And so this is the background. We've got these weird, yeah, weird uh, asteroids there. Do they do the warping stuff as well? Let's see if I can target. No, I can't target them. So they all spooled up their warp drives. The frigates already 
went away and are coming back and the cruisers still have to do their bounce i think let's go target these guys and uh let's let's take the fast minotaur ones a little bit see if we can't get a little bit of damage on that deacon first blop that's pretty good next up another frigate let's go so man these cruisers are pretty slow let's press approach on that gate in the meantime and let's uh, get these guys back while augurer curse and augurer again all right well my shield tank is holding quite nicely again so that's not really a problem uh let's let's first take care of the curse because that one seems to be uh, yeah exactly energy neutralizing again and i want to keep using my e-war as much as possible and i'm again going to go off damage um because they need to go far away and these uh, republic fleet berserkers are actually decently tanky and decently fast so i think that this is okay to do basically i don't want to lose my best drones by getting them 20 kilometers out and then having them be primaried all of a sudden so that's the curse down and then we are going to target paint we're gonna add some missiles okay these are going down pretty easily so far this is now at 5500 meters that should be it for you exactly two three oh, and i didn't see if those guys actually like remote rep let's go take a quick look see what's happening here already in armor just some lasers for now so this is quite doable actually feeling so far at least a little bit less challenging than the um than the the crimson gauntlet just because of how easily those cruisers are going down. So we should see a next wave come in pretty soon. As we still approach the gates, we are in range. I can probably drop the mobile tractor unit in, see if I can uh, analyze the loot as well. Less than 50 should be fine. Gate is still not open. There's a first shining flame deacon coming in. At least you can target them right away then. And that's a battle an oracle. All right. Um, let's see if I can do a 2-3 on that. Not a problem. There's another oracle and an augurer. And more stuff. An omen coming in as well. Interesting. Deacon is already done. I'm, I'm again, I'm going to stick with this. 2-3 and drones. Um, have the faster drones out. Because if these other guys actually start to target them we could lose them pretty quickly and i still can't target that omen kind of weird and here i do see a little bit of an effect from the augurer no that doesn't seem to be remote wrapping and the omen seems to be bouncing for some reason all right weird choice but uh, i'll take that advantage where is the omen? All the way back there. Okay, so he goes down pretty smoothly. Omen is finally coming in. Trying to target that. Let's make some speed happen. Still not. What the hell? What is he doing? I think he's warping again. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, as you wish. Uh, return to drone bay. He just warped off again. Man, this makes the site a little bit annoying, I have to say. Um, if these guys are gonna keep bouncing like that you don't get to start the action right away uh, specifically on your first warping they go away then they come back uh, it feels kind of weird uh, should i do a reload i don't think so i'm basically gonna wait for that annoying omen to decide to finally engage me now he warps in at 17 and he finally decides to target me well that is of course to his own detriment 
because now he doesn't have any supports to three engage as a little bit more loot is being tractored that's the shields gone those are pretty big chunks of armor yeah this feels like it's actually pretty easy I will wait for for his loot though that's kind of weird behavior I'm kind of hoping no he doesn't even have loot all right that is nice and clear uh, is that more loot no it's not so what's um, in this not a lot all right scoop to cargo jo drones are in mobile tractor unit is in and we are taking the next gate and I should really reload here all right shining flame base so far definitely a step down in challenge uh, as far as i can tell from the crimson gauntlet haven't seen him attack uh, my drones outside of the initial uh, phase where they went after my infiltrators after that going off damage actually seemed to really mean that you can hold aggro quite a bit more easily weird behavior to my advantage and uh, so far these waves have been pretty easy to take on we do have a curse again um, that is probably going to try to nude us. Can't target these guys. The frigates have bounced and are now coming back. Alright, there we go. They're targeting me. I'm targeting them, of course. And I'm, I'm going to do this again. Uh, we seem to be doing a decent amount of damage anyways. First target. Let's go. Crusader. I am being nuded by crucifiers. Alright. They're next anyways. And again, that big delay for these cruisers that seem to be super slow here, giving me plenty of time to go after... It's the crucifiers. Yep. Uh, to go after these frigates, taking three of them down before the cruisers do anything. So, all right. That feels... <laughs> That their warping is a little bit to their detriment. Now some of them are going after my berserkers, which is annoying. But we are still um, going after these frigates that are pretty nearby. And then I should basically stop using my missiles on them. And start going after the curse with my missiles. Let's see if we can break that one. As my fast Minmatar drones should do fine on the frigates. And they're nearby as well. Whoops, that's a couple of panels that actually dropped down. I was actually putting down some acoustic panels. Well, we'll, we'll see what it gives. I'm just going to try to finish the site here first. And then I'll um, probably use some nails in order to secure them. But that one goes down as well. And then we've got five missiles left. Let's go like that. Shining Flame Omen go down. Pretty quickly, I think. Not a big deal. All right, uh, should definitely go after the loot, mobile tractor units, and here again, no more gates or anything like that. So this is going to be the final room. Let's recall these guys. We should see another wave and then the battleship. All right. There's the explosion again with the delay, the wait time waiting for the site to decide all right we're going to go and send our next wave um i do think that like the system size could have something to do with this they're clearly warping in from somewhere so we're gonna go after that deacon and then we have a couple of oracles all right let's see here actually an oracle very nearby uh, we're gonna try to take that deacon down while it just straight up approaches me Oracles are targetable. Thermal, let's go with the ogres and see if they can't like take care of that closest oracle for me. Adding in some missile fire. But this again, tank-wise, not even getting close to bringing my, uh, my pretty amazing rattlesnake into trouble. Damage application-wise, I'm doing fine. And so far, I mean, this guy again... Is now oh man yeah when they when they do get a shot in it's a lot of damage on my drones i have to say that's a little bit annoying 
Let's see if I can get him in close and quick because they will be f he will be firing at that one again. This is a little bit of a risk. They have to do quite a bit of traveling. I should probably actually return this one to Drone Bay as he comes closer to me. Yeah, full armor gone. Jesus. Really doesn't like us. But this also means that your personal sh ship uh, tank is, is not tested as much. Now I'm just going to use an EM as well. Press fire. Don't have a lot of missiles, so for the battleship, we'll probably need a little bit of uh, of time. Or should I do a full reload? No, I'll do a reload now. Again, we get this downtime on this uh, shining flame base, which is weird. And we're waiting. And how is this? Okay, so there's. There's two of them in space and it actually shows drones. Let's let's do a quick return to drone bay here. What the hell? Everyone back. A little bit of a UI bug right here. And then we have the commander. Two, three. Missiles are a go. And then I'll, I'll take the ogres again. I don't think he can challenge them. He does. Okay, this is a little bit dangerous because he does whip and scram you. So if you are... Um, uh, a little bit closer tank wise this could be dangerous he probably does a decent amount of damage but then you don't have that much newt pressure here so like a, a fast tick tree uh, active tank will pretty easily i think handle this as well um, they don't like drones in general but here this shining flame base feels like uh, a lot easier for my rattlesnake to handle than the crimson gauntlet so far this guy is also really close so you can counter web him so let's do that then, make him slow down to a crawl and uh, he's breaking pretty quickly and pretty smoothly I must say. Alright, well we got some interruptions on this one but it looks like my rattlesnake is still king of PvE and uh, a very very good choice. I really like this, the fact that uh, this event um, is uh, battleship sized. You can definitely use your battleships for this, uh, which, uh, you know, it's been since uh, we were doing those um, conduits, the emerging conduits, uh, that we've uh, been able to really use our battleships in high sec. So this is pretty good. That's the flame base done. Quick look at the loot. Marked at 50 million isk, we get a cold iron skin for the Guardian, which I already have. Some more clone banks, which I think you have to, like, um, sell to an NPC in dangerous space. But, uh, alright, the skin itself, a drop confirmed. Let's do scoop to the cargo. And I'm gonna quickly salvage all of this as well. And uh, that's gonna be it for this one. The flame base is uh, less difficult, I would say, than the Crimson Gauntlet. Uh, at least for this rattlesnake, it felt like a much smoother run. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you next time.